Hi, welcome to this episode of Thai Food. On this episode, I'm going to make dressing or stuffing. Uh, goes by either term, depending on what you're doing with it. In this case, it's going to be stuffing because if you see right behind me, I'm getting the turkey ready here for Thanksgiving. And uh, I stuff this inside the turkey, and then I go to my smoker with it. And, uh, you know, brine the turkey for about three days beforehand, and then I let it sit out about 24 hours on a tray like that so the skin can dry and all the excess brine drips off of it before I stuff it, otherwise it's going to be too moist when I put my seasoning on it. But uh, back to the task at hand, making the stuffing. So we just buy this package here of herb seasoned cubed stuffing, as they call it. And uh, I kind of sort of follow the directions and then I meander a little bit because, you know, I do things my way. So we're going to need four tablespoons of butter. And I got that right here. I'm going to get this in my skillet here and then get it melting. So I can add the other ingredients here. So we're gonna we'll start on a medium for right now. Set this off to the side here. And uh, to this we want two stalks of celery, which I've got in this bowl here underneath the onions. And I just kind of cubed them up, you know, slices kind of like so. And then I got the onion that I did in a nice dice. That's a large onion in there that I've cut up. I got ready to go. And then I got two cloves of garlic here, fine, thinly sliced, and uh, my knife skills aren't good enough for that, but I did find this little microplaner at like TJ Maxx, um, Burke's Outlet is another one that would have them, um, TJ Maxx, Marshall's Home Goods Store, Marshall's, uh, I found this there for like five bucks, and uh, it's been very handy, and it does a nice thin slice on the garlic for me, so that's what I use for my garlic. I'm going to set that back there because I'm going to need it again later. And uh, then we got two cups of water here. And I have uh, chicken bouillon cubes that I keep in the pantry at all times. And one of those is good for two cups of water. So I put a bouillon cube in that as well. And to that I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of some Knorr liquid seasoning. And this has got a bunch of different stuff in there. One of the items it's got in it is some MSG and uh, it just helps with that umami flavor. There we go. Set this off to the side. So I've got the stuffing breading in this bowl here so I can mix everything when I'm ready. Just trying to get my butter melted down here. You can hear it's starting to. So at this point I'm going to go ahead and add the onions and the celery into the skillet here. Well, Sesame's talking to me in the background there. If you can hear him, I'm sure you can with the microphone I got on my tablet here. It's a pretty good microphone. Picks up a lot of stuff in the background. But yeah, the cat meow and you hear is Sesame talking to us. And we're going to do some salt on this to help pull the moisture out and get this softened up. And it's going to be probably about a quarter teaspoon of salt if you want an accurate measurement on it. Me, I just grind until I think I got enough in there. Same with the pepper. Good time to add the pepper and to help get this flavor. Again, probably about a quarter teaspoon here. That's about good. Make it snow on there, I guess you could say. Get this mixing in. At this point, I'm going to bump my temp up to a medium high here. Everything was cold, so it kind of drew the heat off the skillet on me, but I don't want to go too quick with this, you know. You just kind of want to make everything a little translucent and soften it, I'm not looking to sear it or nothing. Well, I got this going. I'm going to go ahead and I've got some uh, fresh herbs here. And all I do is just pick up a uh, poultry blend. And it comes with sage, rosemary, and thyme in there. And we're going to give this a quick run through with the knife. I just kind of picked all the leaves off the sage and bunched them all up here. And I'm just going to go through them real quick. 
make smaller pieces. I've got a little bowl with an Uzuku knife from Alaska that my mother bought me, and that probably would have been handy for this right here, but I'm trying to minimize dishes, lest i got to wash later. Or my wife has to wash, whoever gets to them first. I surprised her yesterday and beat her to it. Just give it a quick, somewhat fine dice. I'm going to go right into the bowl of the breadcrumbs with this. In fact, I'll put that up here now. Get rid of that other bowl. And I'm going to do the same with this uh, rosemary. Again, I just kind of picked all the leaves off the stalks. The very tip of the stalk is just as tender as the leaves themselves. So I just take the tips as well. But we're just going to run through this as well. Get kind of a coarse chop to begin with here. And this is going to add a whole lot of flavor. I know it said it was herb seasoned already, but you just can't beat that extra flavor you get from these fresh herbs. And this is starting to soften up nicely. At this point I'm going to add in my garlic. just because I want that nice garlicky punch that you get when you add the garlic a little bit later. If you don't want so much garlic flavor, you add it right in the beginning. And this is going to get mixed all through. and You should be able to see when this comes out of the bird later on. You should still be able to see the shape of the vegetables and all that and be able to find slices of that garlic nestled in there somewhere. But I've been doing the stuffing this way for, well, this is my second year, actually. I tried it this way last year, and it was so good, I'm like, i got to do that again. Not only that, but i got to do a video on it. Like I said, I'm just giving this a fine run-through. You don't want too many big chunks. You want to be able to get it mixed all the way through. But, you know... If you want bigger chunks, leave it in bigger chunks. It's totally up to you, really. Just showing you how I do it. I'm going to do the cutting board on in there. Alright, now for the thyme, these leaves are so small on the thyme that uh, I'm just going to put them in whole. I'm not going to try to cut them up because it's kind of a pain in the nuts trying to get them all off of here you know but like I said just take I do the same way with the uh, rosemary just like that easiest way I found to do it and ironically it's the same way they show you how to do it on Food Network and all that too you know just grab the stock run your finger down through tear things apart There's definitely a lot of time here. You need all the time you can get on Thanksgiving getting stuff ready, you know what I mean? I used to use some of my uh, poultry blend seasoning. I did a video on that. In the previous uh, one of my first few videos I actually uploaded to my channel I went through my seasoning I use for poultry when I'm grilling chicken and such and uh, well obviously chicken poultry but you could use it on duck if you wanted to or actually I'm gonna season the outside of my turkey with it later so at this point we got these softened as much as we want to go with it because it's gonna finish cooking uh, let's see here. Nope. There we go. I'm going to finish cooking in the dressing itself while it's inside the turkey. And another reason I let the turkey sit for 24 hours in the ambient temperature is now I know that turkey's, you know, at room temperature. So it starts off at about 72 degrees or so when you go to cook it. And that way there you can actually cook it for less time 
and it'll cook a little quicker for you. There we go. Set that back there on the stove. All right, so just got to finish getting my time in here and I'm going to pause the video while I do this and come back to you. All right, so that's the last little bit of time I'm going to put in there. I'm going to set the rest of this off to the side because I'm going to crush it up and put it in the butter that I'm going to brush the outside of my turkey with later. And uh, now we're getting ready to put the liquid in and I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of some Worcestershire sauce to this as well. There we are. Give this a quick stir up. Alright. I just want to start mixing this around first before I start adding the liquid. And I'm going to add the liquid a little bit at a time. I want to make sure I get everything coated real good. And already hear it softening up. See the seam coming off of this already. Found a sprig of a uh, thyme in there. Bound to happen. There we are. So that's all ready now to get stuffed inside the turkey. And uh, I'm gonna end my video here and remind you to make sure you select the. Uh, well, first you gotta subscribe to my channel, obviously. If you have not please do that you know I could use all the viewers I get all the subscribers I'm at like 109 as of this video so if you haven't done so please create an account subscribe to my channel click the little bell icon it'll notify you when I upload a video uh, check me out on my Facebook group Thai food um, also on Instagram under Thai food and uh, my Instagram I believe is Thai food on YouTube with underscores in between each of the words and uh, Twitter is Thai food as well Thanks for tuning in. Have a good Thanksgiving.